Now it's time to practice with Mongo Dump Utility. Attached to this lesson, I have prepared a file with some templates for different Mongo Dump cases. This template is for dump from the remote database, and it will dump all databases except database local. Second one will dump all databases on the local MongoDB server. Third one will dump specific database, here is this option, and specific collection. And you can also specify certain directory where this dump will be stored. And last option, dump to archive. In this case, you need to specify archive file name and jzip option. Okay, now I will dump my DB database from a remote MongoDB server and I will dump first to the folder and second to archive. Let's do this. I have prepared a couple of commands below. This command will dump my DB database from remote server and those are credentials to connect to remote server. Let's copy this command and go to terminal. I will dump to the desktop, so change directory to the desktop and paste command here and enter. It will take a while because my DB consists of several collections and finally this dump will be created. So done dumping my DB first, done dumping my DB out collections and so on. So you see that each collection is dumped. Okay, done dumping. Now I will be able to see dump folder on the desktop and if I go into it, I will see my DB folder and here you will see different collections and you see that extension is bison and also along with each collection you will see metadata.json files. Those files contain indexes for each collection. Okay, let's now perform dump using archive option. Let's go back to the notepad and here is second command. In this case, I will dump same mydb, but with archive option. And I will perform dump to the file called dump.jz. And here is option dash dash jzip. Let's copy this command. Go back to terminal. I will clear terminal and paste this command. Enter. Again, it will take some time. And finally, you will get archive. Let's wait. Finally, dumping is done and let's go to the desktop and you will see here dump.jz file. This archive contains all collections along with indexes, same as we have seen in this folder. Okay, let's go on and next let's talk about restore utility. And of course, we will restore data from those backups. See you shortly.